Food Service Express, a division of Med Diet Incorporated, presents the Pureed Diet Made Easy. This session will cover four topics explaining the National Dysphagia Diet, Level 1, Dysphagia Pureed. They are why some people need to have foods pureed, foods to be avoided, and why. Appropriate foods for pureed diets as defined by the National Dysphagia Diet. And last, tips for easily and successfully preparing pureed foods. Difficulty with swallowing is called dysphagia and can result as a complication from a number of different conditions that affect muscles and nerves of the upper body. Dysphagia can impact people at any age. It really depends on someone's medical situation. Swallowing is a natural response. Many of us don't even think about it. As you take a bite of food and chew it, the food mixes with saliva to form what is called a food bolus. Once the bolus of food is formed, the tongue helps move it to the back of the mouth to be swallowed. The food bolus passes down a tube, called the esophagus, to the stomach, where it is digested. It is very important that the bolus of food go down the esophagus to the stomach and not into the windpipe, which is the trachea. If food particles go down the trachea, it can lead to respiratory infections, or if the food is large enough, the person could choke. It is important to watch for signs of swallowing difficulty and report them to a health care professional. Look for coughing or choking before, during, or after swallowing. A wet or gurgly sounding voice, food left in the mouth or pocketed in the cheeks, drooling, or complaints of painful swallowing are all signs of dysphagia. Because people with dysphagia are not able to swallow normally, they may be told to follow a pureed diet and avoid certain foods that could cause them problems during the swallowing process. With a pureed diet, food should be the consistency of a pudding. Cohesive pureed foods stay together in the mouth to travel more easily and safely down the esophagus to the stomach. Foods that may not be safe for people with dysphagia include those that have small particles like rice, scrambled eggs, or cottage cheese. Foods like pineapple or celery will be too fibrous and stringy. Foods like fresh fruits and vegetables, nuts, crusty breads, dry meats, or stew will be too crumbly, chunky, or tough to chew well enough to make the cohesive bolus of food. A wide variety of foods are allowed on the pureed diet as long as they are prepared properly to be a smooth, cohesive consistency. Soft breads can be pureed or slurried. Hot farina-type cereals are allowed. Fruits and vegetables without skins, seeds, or pulp. Meats and casseroles. Mashed potatoes, pureed rice, and pureed pasta without lumps are allowed. Pureed soups can be thickened to the prescribed liquid consistency. Butter, Margarine, smooth sauces, and gravies will often be used to further moisten pureed foods as well as add flavor. Many allowed desserts such as puddings, plain yogurts, and mousses. Spices and many smooth condiments like jelly or honey are also allowed. For a complete list of foods recommended and those to be avoided, refer to the National Dysphagia Diet Guidelines. The list can also be found on dysphagia-diet.com. The last topic is tips for successfully preparing tasty and appealing pureed foods. Besides standard cooking tools, you will need a blender or food processor to properly prepare pureed foods at home. A standard blender will puree most fruits, vegetables, prepared desserts, potatoes, and pastas. However, many meats will require a food processor to grind fine enough to reach a pureed consistency. Meats will be the most difficult item to prepare. Meat should be well cooked and diced into pieces with bone, skin, and fat removed. About one-third cup of hot liquid is needed for each two to three ounces of meat. The liquid should be hot so the meat stays hot. It is preferable to use broth, meat juices, milk, sauces, or gravy, as water dilutes flavor and adds no nutritional value. 
a food processor will make meats a smooth consistency. Mixed dishes like lasagnas, goulash, stews, meat pies, and such usually puree nicely. Use caution to make sure only allowed foods are in the dish before pureeing. Additional liquid is generally not needed. Potatoes should be well cooked with no skin. Potato dishes like au gratin or scalloped may also be pureed until smooth. Serving with butter, smooth gravies, or sauces adds extra moistness and enhances flavor. Vegetables should be well cooked with any cooking liquid drained off. Allowed vegetables can be prepared in a food processor or a standard blender. Be sure to puree until smooth. If a liquid is needed during pureeing, use butter, hot milk, smooth sauce, or broth, as plain water adds no nutritional value and dilutes flavor. Generally, only one to two teaspoons of a liquid will be needed for each vegetable portion. Once pureed, if the vegetable is too thin, you can add a small amount of thickener to reach the correct consistency. Check the manufacturer's recipe for how much thickener to add. Allowed fruits can be prepared in a standard blender. Canned fruits should be well drained. Make sure any skins, pulp, or seeds are discarded. Measure your serving of fruits into the blender and puree until smooth. If the pureed fruit is too thin, you can add powdered thickener to reach the correct consistency. Check the manufacturer's recipe for how much thickener to add. Breads are one of the trickier foods to prepare for the pureed diet. You can use a commercially packaged puree bread mix. Liquid can be added to store-bought bread crumbs to make a bread-like pudding. If you have a food processor, you can puree bread products into crumbs and then add just enough liquid to moisten them into a pudding consistency. Slurry essentially means soaking the bread until it is saturated with liquid. You can slurry allowable breads, plain cakes, plain cookies, pancakes and crackers using coffee, milk, juices, syrup, or a thinly thickened water. The process is to pour liquid over the item, cover and refrigerate the food until it is evenly soaked through with the liquid. Pair liquid flavors with the food item. Coffee could be the slurry for a sugar cookie. Milk will nicely soak a graham cracker or soft bread slice, and so on. Many allowed desserts, such as puddings, plain yogurts, and mousses, will be suitable without any additional preparation. Prepared desserts like fruit pies and cobblers generally puree very nicely. Use caution to make sure only allowed foods are in the dessert before pureeing. A lot of information was covered in a short time. We hope this has given you an idea of how to start pureeing foods for the dysphagia diet. Be sure to ask your dietitian or speech-language pathologist if you have any questions about a particular food item being appropriate. In this segment, we've talked about allowed foods and preparation tips. To learn about attractive and creative plate presentations, watch the segment Pleasing Plate Presentations for the Dysphagia Diet. For more information, talk to your health care provider, visit the product manufacturer's websites, or visit us at dysphagia-diet.com.